another Zabroya Ukrainian air rifle is in the rack cave and on the rack table. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load and this is the Zabroya Sapsan PCP air rifle. This is a sub 12 air rifle, kindly on loan from Livens Gun Shop here in the UK. And this is quite a nice little rifle to be fair. One or two little things that I'm a little bit iffy about, but other than that, but I'll tell you more about that anyway uh, throughout the video. But overall, quite a nice rifle. Certainly accurate, there's no doubt about that. But let me just reel off some specs for you guys. So this one is the 700mm barrel version, or at least I think it is. <laughs> Yeah, 700, we'll probably take a little bit off that because it, there might be baffles in there, to be honest. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna have a look. Rack, you've not done your research. Yeah, I have done my research. I'm just double checking, I like to double check. And uh, that's all barrel, so you know that is that is 700 mil. So 700 mil barrel, this one is in 2.2, but like I say, it is sub 12. It is a very accurate rifle guys it really is i'm quite impressed with uh, with this little rifle so overall length of this rifle and i sometimes don't trust what websites say i really don't is uh 790 millimeters or 31 and a half inches it weighs in at approximately 2.9 kilograms unscoped Magazine capacity in 177 is 10 rounds, 10 rounds in 2.2, 8 rounds in 25 cal. 220 cc reservoir or bottle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the bigger versions have 300 um, cc. This is the bigger version. Okay, so this one is the 300 cc. So it's got quite a sort of fat reservoir on there. Nice woodwork on this bullpup style air rifle. I do like it. One of my gripes, or well, not one of my gripes, but with that being so thin, that scares me to hell. If that breaks, oh my God. That just scares me a little bit, but that, that's probably my only sort of gripe. I do like this little bit of leather that's going on here with the stitching as the cheek piece. That is pretty cool. Not very left hand friendly, but you know, uh, I kind of like that. That's a, that's a bit sort of blazer, isn't it, don't you think? But very, very different when it comes to... Um, a bullpup style rifle, usually they're all sort of tactical, aren't they? You know, and plastic and polymer and aluminium going on. It's nice to see a little bit of woodwork on this type of rifle. Just in case you were wondering, that is a Hawk scope that is riding on top. That is a Hawk Vantage, a little tactical scope. I just thought it would look ideal uh, on this rifle. It is a, uh, what is it, 1.5 to 8 uh, magnification scope. Pretty cool, it worked really well on this, on this rifle. But let's take a closer look. So, quite hard rubber uh, stock pad there, or shoulder pad, uh, fairly grippy. Got a bit of a logo going on there. And then I also, uh, I've mentioned the, uh, the cheek, uh, cheek pad we'll call it. That leather cheek pad, I kind of like that. You've got a logo going on there as well. Magazine goes in from this side, obviously side lever cocking. Uh, wooden stock, like I mentioned, that bit just scares me to death. You know, if you was to break that. Pistol grip going on there. And then all sort of aluminium. Uh, block and receiver there, and then that 300 cc reservoir and then a free floating barrel threaded so you can throw on a mod i didn't put a mod on this i found it pretty quiet 
anyway, to be fair. Um, or did I put them? I don't know. God, I've been reviewing that many guns at the minute, guys. Don't know whether, whether I'm coming or going. Um, but uh, yeah, super, super quiet. Uh, really nice to shoot. Side lever. I do like um, how it's rock solid. There's no sort of up and down. There's literally zero up and down wiggle uh, on this cocking lever. It is super solid. I think what they could do though is just make that handle a little bit bigger but other than that i've got no gripes uh, cantilever style picatinny uh, rail going on there um so really really quite cool now i said i've got two gripes first one is this how thin this woodwork is my second one is the safety catch it does work all right okay but i just I'm, I've never been keen on safety catches in the trigger guard. Okay. Never been uh, a keen on that. So that's probably my only gripe. I like how the, the, you've got like a brass trigger and sort of a few uh, fixtures going on in that brass collar. It kind of looks nice. There is your manometer on the other side. Okay. Pretty cool. Magazines. I do like the magazines nice and simple not clockwork you just literally fill them up with pellets and that's it nothing can go wrong with these magazines you just fill them up put them in that's it that easy no there's not a last shot stop so you know when you find your last shot you've got to keep count as you will end up dry firing it it is what it is but just keep count so Let's talk about accuracy then. So, accuracy was good with this Zabroya Sapsan. 0.22, this is 30 yards, my standard sort of range. Three shot groups. Let's take it from the top then, I'll roll in footage. So, first ones to go were H&N Field Target Trophy, 14.66 grain. That is them right there. Oh, I'm getting low on them. Three shot groups, I did zero with these. Well, yeah, I did zero up there, but uh, there we go. Three shot groups. Then H&N Barracuda 15s. These are 15.89 grain, a little bit heavier. Okay. That's what we did with those. In between different pellets, when I changed onto a new pellet, I'd put three or four shots um just down range before i went back onto paper then we went barracuda match which is them right there they are 21.14 grain a little bit heavier still landing in the same sort of place which is quite interesting then we went on to uh where are they hades hades seem always always seem to be good in my testing 15.89 grain there's your hades Okay, and then JSB Jumbo RS 13.43 grain pellets. That's where they landed. And then last but not least, uh, JSB Jumbo Heavies 18.13 uh, uh, grain. That's where they landed. So it pretty much liked every pellet that I had on test, and what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six different types of pellets. It seemed to like them all, it was accurate. Um, I didn't zero for each pellet, I just zeroed for the, the uh, field target trophies, and then just aimed at the same point each time. We're all about the groups, guys, consistency. Pretty damn accurate, no doubt about that. So yeah, pretty, pretty impressive. Uh, just not keen on that safety catch, but that's my personal preference. And that thin bit just worries me a little bit. But other than that, very comfortable rifle to shoot, uh, even if you're a lefty like me. Apart from that, you know, it's the trouble with ball pups. You you always get a bit of a an issue if you're if you're lefty most of the time, most of the time. But no, impressive. I had no problems with it. Um, you know, with uh, 
with the magazine or anything like that it was it was just it was just really good let's give the trigger a pull see what it is doing right let's give this a pull have i got the safety catch on One pound, three ounces on the trigger pull. That's a nice trigger. I've got to remind myself. Yeah, that is a nice trigger. It's a very nice trigger actually. Yeah, nice. Very cool indeed. Shot count wise, uh, I've not run it dry. Um, oh. I don't know, to be fair, in 2-2, two, two, I think you're going to get, I'm guessing now, but I'll roll in, well, I'll put um, the shot count down below in the bottom of the video, but I reckon with that reservoir, I think you're going to get a good, a good 100 odd shots, I'm guessing, a good 100 odd shots, but, uh, but yeah, in 177, it'll be a little bit less, but no, nice little rifle, something different, I'm liking uh, these Zabroyers, I really am, um, they seem to be really well made and uh, they're definitely accurate i had the Hor was it hortizia um a while back check that video out that was pretty damn accurate as well so pretty impressive but anyway guys that is it that is just a little review of the zabroya sapsan pcp air rifle sub 12 in 2-2 that's me done thanks for watching guys that is rack and load see ya